communicating with colleagues before service. You now have a great understanding of body language and the bad habits to avoid in front of guests. In the next three lessons, we'll take a look at communicating with colleagues by looking at the following key points. Communication before service. Communication with colleagues during service and communication with colleagues after service. So, in this lesson, we'll be looking at the first type of communication. Communication before service. Do you still remember the five P's? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. This not only includes having all the equipment ready, but also all the information that you will need in order to provide the guest with exceptional service. Good communication at this stage sets the tone and lays the foundation for success. This is where pre-service meetings come in. At pre-service meetings, the team comes together to exchange information and get into the right mindset for service. These meetings are crucial for our preparation before service. Key areas of focus here are guest information, communication with the bar and kitchen, and areas of improvement. Let's take a closer look at these by starting with guest information. The maitre d' will have the important information of the guests who have booked for service. This will include information such as guest names, dietary requirements, or special occasions. This provides you with the valuable information you need to make your guests' experience superb. You can call them by name, congratulate them on a special occasion, and ensure that if they have allergies, the kitchen is informed. If guests have made special requests, this is also pointed out at pre-service meetings to ensure that the proper preparation has been done and that the responsible person ensures that it happens, such as champagne on arrival or a special table arranged. There may also be returning guests who you've served before. If so, you can share any information you remember such as whether they drink still or sparkling water, or which type of coffee they prefer. This way, even if you're not the one serving them, they will still receive personalized service. This is the level of detail that elevates service to a five-star level. The second area of information is from the kitchen and bar. The pre-service meeting is an opportunity for the kitchen to give you menu information, such as specials, or which dishes are unavailable. It's very important that you take careful note of this information. Imagine during service the guest finally decides on one of the delicious menu items, only to find out when they order that it's unavailable. They will be terribly disappointed. The kitchen may also have specific dishes which they would like you to promote for that service, and they will tell you which dishes these are during the meeting. During the meeting, the bar can also let you know about wines that pair well with the specials and if there are any beverages unavailable. Lastly, ideas and areas for improvement. Everyone involved in the dining experience, from the chef, to the runners, to the waiters, form a team. And as a team, you need to constantly improve service at every level. The only way to do this is through effective communication. That's why meetings are a great opportunity for the team to discuss areas for improvement for service. For example, if the kitchen is having trouble reading the dockets, they can make the waiters aware of the problem and ask them to write more clearly. Or, if the waiters find that the noise in the kitchen gets out of hand, the maitre d' can ask that they try to keep the noise levels down. Because meetings are held regularly, the team can also talk about previous areas of improvement and can see whether these problems are in fact improving and remind everyone to keep it up. Meetings are also a chance for you to share your ideas on how to improve service. For example, if you notice that ladies in high heel shoes often struggle climbing the stairs at your establishment, you can suggest that it becomes standard for a waiter to offer their arm to ladies in high heel shoes. Another tip for effective communication is that only one person speaks at a time. Imagine if everyone talked at the same time. No one would hear anything and no one would be heard. So, if someone else is speaking, listen and keep quiet. 
This shows that you respect your colleagues and goes a long way towards building a strong team. So to recap, at the meeting before service, the important areas of communication include guest information, communication with the bar and kitchen, and ideas and areas for improvement. Good luck using these points to improve communication at your next pre-service meeting.